There's a bee in my bonnet, hello, hello, a bee in my bonnet. Spring is here! Yay! This is my favorite season. We made it through the winter and the darkness. But wait, this spring is different. This spring we're staying home, in bed, doing nothing. No, this spring we're staying home, but we're gonna do everything. We're gonna use this time to get our creative juices flowing again, get inspired with new ideas, learn how to bake banana bread, bullet journal, um, even assemble that kitchen table that has been standing in its cardboard box for four months. Okay, well, maybe <laughs> let's not get overly ambitious here, but we're definitely going to use this time uh, to try to make the best out of the situation and also try to keep sane um, while we're in this weird thing all together. Uh, so follow along and I hope you'll get some inspiration from these tips and ideas to do at home. The first one is to decorate your space and I made a photo wall. So I get very affected by the environment around me and I bet you do too. Um, so just trying to make the space around you nice and maybe make something that will inspire you through these days. Uh, and I've been wanting to do a photo wall for such a long time. I did a video where I showed how I made these little photo prints, so you can check that out, I'll link that. Um, but you could also use postcards or just images that you find in an old magazine, for example. And so what I did is I chose a nice spot where I then with washi tape put up all these photos and then I'll have this inspiration visual mood board that I can look and go to for inspiration through these days of being at home. <laughs> and I think it's a really nice element to have in my environment. I also did a little photo booklet or I'm not sure what to call it, uh, but basically I just taped together these cardboard cards and then I glued some photos on them and then I put them close to my desk where I sit and work so then I can look at those and get inspired with some visual eye candy. Next up we have creative journaling. So we're back in pajama land because you cannot have a good creative journaling session without comfy clothes. <laughs> uh, so for this one I took out, I have this box, kind of kindergarten craft box with all kinds of old magazine cutouts, images, stickers, colored papers. Uh, and I just like to take everything out, fill it up on the floor, make a mess, have everything around me. And then I have these notebooks and binders um, and just sit and kind of have fun with it, play around and listen to what sparks my inspiration, no, sparks my excitement <laughs> and what gets me inspired without really any end goal. And I think this is so valuable and something that I often think I don't have time for. I always think like, no, but there has to be a result. There has to be an end goal. What am I gonna uh, do this for? But just sitting there and letting your intuition guide you and then you'll find maybe connections that your rational brain wouldn't otherwise. And also if you have a bullet journal, this is the perfect time to, well, probably won't have so many appointments and events <laughs> to put in there, but to make it pretty and put some photos and stickers in there as well. And the next one is knitting. Now, I cannot have a channel that is called Kutua Kika, which basically means in Finnish knitting kika and not mention knitting in this type of video. So, you know, I love to knit and it is so relaxing and such a good way to keep your fingers and hands from going to your phone and wanting to maybe update the news all the time and just get overwhelmed by that information. I, for one, definitely sometimes just find myself in this loop of just updating what's going on and um, just not it's not making me feel any better. Uh, I don't have to know every minute what is going on. Um, so knitting is just very relaxing, kind of a little bit of a therapy. And you also get to make something uh, that you can then wear on the cool summer nights where we'll hopefully be outside again. <laughs> um, and now I'm knitting this cardigan and I have these really cool buttons that I ordered. Um, so I'm really excited about how this is gonna turn out. Um, if you don't know how to knit, I have a video uh, showing the basics so you can check that one out. Um, also, obviously, if you have, you want to embroider or something, but just keeping your hands busy is really nice way to kind of stay grounded and calm through this time. Next up, decluttering. So I have this bookshelf with all kinds of uh, craft supplies, books, camera gear, props from Christmas, and it's all just a mess in there and it's been bothering me in the back of my head for such a long time. So now I decided to tackle that and really get it organized and nice. Um, and this is also, I always find when I make space around me, it also frees up space in my mind and head. Um, so just making sure your environment is nice and this is really the perfect time to do those kind of projects. Um, and to get the motivation for this, because it can be a little bit difficult to get the energy to do this kind of project because it will take a while and it's 
just kind of hmm, a little bit tedious and kind of manual labor to do the whole thing. Um, so I've done before the Marie Kondo method that you probably know, but to get kind of that inspiration and energy like to get going, I listened to it again on Audible, which is also the sponsor for this video. Uh, so thank you for sponsoring this video. Um, and if you don't know Audible, they basically have audiobooks, podcasts, tons of different titles. To try out Audible and get a 30-day free trial, you can go to audible.com slash Kika or then text the word Kika to 500-500. And so basically the Marie Kondo book that I'm listening to is called The Life-Changing Magic of Tidying. And the whole thing is that instead of thinking of what you're gonna throw away and discard, you're instead choosing the things that you want to keep and the things that spark joy. So what I did was I emptied out the whole bookshelf first, put everything on the floor, and then I just went through each and every item and just asked myself, is this really something that brings me joy or because I tend to hold on to a lot of things because I think like, oh, but I might need this maybe for a photo, I can use it for something. But in the end, it's just like a pile of all kinds of random stuff that is actually just weighing me down and I kind of feel guilt for not using them or for having them around. Uh, so then I just did, took that all away, discarded that and it was such a nice feeling to then be able to put everything back in this bookshelf and just know everything I have in there, everything has a space and a spot. Basically you can do this in your whole house, like for clothes, for CDs, for kitchen, like everything. And I'm thinking maybe I'll try to do it like one room a day, even though that's not how you're supposed to do it. You're supposed to do it by category by category. Uh, but yeah, I have done it before. Um, but so if you would like to check out Audible, and like I said, they have so many other audiobooks and podcasts and news and things that you can listen to over there. So go to audible.com slash Kika, or you can text the word Kika to 500-500. Uh, the next tip is also basically to yeah listen to an audiobook <laughs> um, because that's such a nice way to you can listen to something while you're doing yeah for example cleaning or tidying your home next up is yin yoga so I've been doing yin yoga for a few years now just through YouTube so this is perfect you can do it at home um, and there is this one channel called yoga with Cassandra which I really like she has a ton of different yin yoga classes that you can just follow along and uh, watch and listen and do at home. Um, so basically yin yoga is just you have called these stretching poses for usually a very like longer time than you would normally so three to five minutes and let me tell you this is such a good way to calm your nervous system down to sleep better to get grounded more calm focus on your breath and tune in with your own body and tune out of all the noise and all the stress uh, that is going on right now. So I can really recommend it if you haven't tried it before. Um, and Yoga with Cassandra is one channel that I really recommend and use a lot. There are obviously other ones out there as well, but I just find stretching is oh so relaxing and mm, so nice. Uh, but when I do it by myself, I tend to be a little impatient and I go through the moves quite fast. So I just find it really nice to have somebody to guide me and kind of feel like I'm doing it with somebody. Next one is to get out of those sweatpants and put on a nice dress. Yes, just because we're home doesn't mean that you have to go around in pajama all day, even though sometimes that's also nice. Um, but putting on something a little bit fancier, a dress or something that makes you look nice and feel good can be such a mood booster, energy kick. Um, and also when I work at home, I often make it really a point to get dressed for the day. I just feel like I get more done and just feel better. And also in the evening when it comes down to, again, put on that pajama, it just feels like there is some structure in the day. Learn a new hairdo. So we have this luxury with all this information just at our fingertips. So what better way to use that than learn a new hairdo? <laughs> Time well spent, my friends. I've been wanting to learn how to do these braids that goes over the head for such a long time. Um, and it's so tricky to do by myself. I found this video where it said it would be a super easy style to do. Well, let me tell you, it was not super easy. <laughs> um, and I kinda, it didn't really turn out how it looked on the thumbnail and how their beautiful hairdo looked, but I tried and it was still kind of fun. I got to do something a little bit different with my hair. Um, I really like to make these kind of French braids. I haven't done some of them or them for a while, so I got inspired to maybe do more of those type of hairdos. Um, so yeah, it was just like a nice little thing to do when you have time on your hands. Edit some old photos, or could also be some new photos. I really find it enjoyable and relaxing to just some, edit some photos. It doesn't take any brain capacity from me. I can just sort of go play it by feeling and 
get better at editing my photos and having the style that I would ultimately want to have them be. And if you want some tips and inspiration for some apps, mobile photo apps to use, uh, I've got a video about that, so I will link that if you want to check that out. And yeah, this is just something that is nice to immerse yourself into and doesn't really require any type of energy, but it still feels like you got something done. Next up, work on your passion project. So I bet you might have some small little whispers in your head, maybe some dream project, passion project that you've been wanting to plan or do or think about a bit more. So this is the perfect opportunity to do that. Uh, I have some things planned that I always just feel like I never have time to really put focus on them. So this is really the good time to do that and take them to the next step even if it's just like jotting down a list of some things or just visualizing and articulating it for yourself what it even would be this is the perfect time to start you know write that book do that course or start that little business crafting project whatever it might be this is absolutely the perfect time to do that and make something good out of this whole situation and next one, there's a lot of things you can do, but this is also a good time and it's totally okay to slow down, take a nap, have a nice cup of coffee, enjoy slow mornings. Um, if you usually have to commute to work and go through a lot of traffic, enjoy the luxury of just going from your bedroom to your kitchen or your living room uh, and that little commute uh, and just take time to reflect and yeah, just slowing down in general. I think that is something that our world and culture and society we just need that as a whole the way we've been organizing and running this carousel is not very sustainable so just you know it's okay to take a little bit of a break and also do nothing for a while and the next one is to meditate um, I don't meditate daily and not even that regularly but every time I do feel stressed or overwhelmed or just kind of out of myself uh, I find it very helpful even just to sit down five or ten minutes and just close my eyes and just focus on my own breath and my body and try to get more attuned with that. Um, it's so easy I think to get kind of out of yourself and get very caught up in all this stuff that is going on around. Um, but it just helps so much, or me at least, to get centered and just focus and take a step back and then makes me feel more at ease and peace with everything that is going on also around me. All right, you guys, that was all the tips, although one bonus one is to watch a Kika YouTube video. So if you like this video, then you can watch some of my other videos. I have a ton of photo ideas and creative... Uh, creative videos I guess different stuff um, so definitely go and check that out below I hope you're staying safe and healthy wherever in the world you are and that this video gave you some value um, some ideas maybe to do how to use this time or that it was entertaining in some way uh, thank you so much for watching take care and I'll see you soon again bye and now I'm off to tackle that IKEA table no, who am I kidding? No, I'm not. <laughs> it's gonna take a much more than a lockdown to get me to assemble that IKEA table, I can tell you. <laughs> There's a bee in my bonnet, hello, hello, a bee in my bonnet, hello. There's a bee in my bonnet, hello, hello, a bee in my bonnet, hello. There's a bee in my bonnet, hello, hello, a bee in my bonnet, hello.